are a lot of people who say that some celebrities just shouldn't be famous. Hi, I'm Stacey Taylor and today I'm counting down the top 10 celebrities we wish never became famous. So which celebrities do you think shouldn't be famous and let us know in the comments below. Coming at number 10 today we have the Kardashians. For years the Kardashian family has often been criticized for being famous for doing nothing. Thanks to Kris Jenner, nobody would probably know their names if she didn't leak a certain tape of her eldest daughter Kim Kardashian. While her family may now be millionaires and billionaires thanks to their many companies within the clothing and beauty industry, they still try to claim that they work hard to be where they are today. However, if it wasn't for their insane drama and big peaches, we probably wouldn't even know their names, let's face it. Kris Jenner was smart and she used this to her advantage and with her power she was able to make her family the most famous family in Hollywood. Like everyone knows that if you want to go anywhere at this point, you have to get in with the Kardashian family as once you befriend the whole family, a lot of doors open up and it will help you get to where you need to go. Just look at Black China and Tyga. No one really knew who they were and now they're pretty much household names. However, outside all the drama with this family, what are they actually famous for? So Kendall is a model. But what does the rest of the family do other than complain about the reason that people aren't making it into the industry is because they aren't waking up every day to work their hardest. It seems like today they're only in the spotlight for their toxic image that they impose on weight loss and how being skinny is the only thing you can do to be pretty. Number 9, Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is blowing up online due to his controversial opinions on being a man and making money and it's creating headlines across the web. While he's often endorsed a misogynistic culture, he is also admitted to scamming guys on the internet. When he is not creating harmful content on social media, he is frequently seen flaunting his yachts, Bugattis, and wealth. And by now you're probably wishing that this guy never even rose to fame. With Andrew preaching about how women belong to men and men can do anything they want to them shows that Andrew has zero respect for women. And his recent arrest in Romania shows that this guy is garbage. And he's just as garbage as we all believed him to be. Andrew's viewers tend to be misogynistic men like him as well as naive adolescent boys who just can't get girls to like them. With his content being dangerous to view, these younger individuals have come so heavily influenced by Tate that they have even adopted this misogynistic and racist view that he's expressed on all of his platforms. Examples include how Tate uses racial slurs in his tweets and has degraded women on his podcast for having no innate responsibility or honor. Like, I don't know why the world has a tendency of making such garbage people famous, but out of all the people, why do men love this guy so much? Like there's nothing impressive. Like he's even too scared to get into a ring with Logan Paul because he knows he'll lose. While his presence on social media has started to diminish, to diminish, it's clear people like Tate don't deserve fame or money and they're not worth the spotlight at all. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming at number eight, we have Chris Brown. At one point, Chris Brown represented the future of pop and RB music. With his Michael Jackson like dance moves, cute boyish looks, and songs about chasing girls in school, now he's all grown up, tatted, and sings about wetting the bed and making headlines the trending topic on Twitter, and it seems like every week is just a different topic. So, why has Chris Brown become a celebrity that everyone loves, but at the same time loves to hate? Over the years, Chris has had beef with multiple celebrities, and each time there is beef, Chris always seems to be in the wrong as he always takes things way too far. While he was an extremely talented artist, I can only imagine the amount of pressure one must have when living under a microscope. Everything you do or say judged by millions of people. But even with saying that, even being stressed from your job can't justify your actions. And honestly, it just, baffle, it just baffles me why people even choose to support him after he has a long history of being violent with women. So why are we supporting him? Number seven, James Corden.
James Corden is only popular for his role as a late night talk show host. But even though everyone knows who he is, he isn't exactly everyone's favorite cup of tea. And a lot of people have actually expressed their dislike towards him. While James has gone on to become one of the most popular talk show hosts in recent years, his popularity hasn't always come with the audience's full approval. While his work in movies such as Into the Woods, Cats and Trolls could easily make him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, he has been deemed as being annoying and has earned the dislike of the audience over the years over various reasons. While the reason so many people dislike James Corden has been fueled by different events, both in front of the camera and behind the scenes, it's clear that he shouldn't be famous and none of us should buy into his nice guy image. And on more than one occasion, he's actually been caught being rude and fake in interviews and in his shows when talking to his guests. James is known to interrupt or talk over people and he has the constant need to sing over his guests in his fan favorite segment, Carpool Karaoke. Also, let's not forget how he's rude to servers at restaurants. To me, it seems like James has never worked a customer service job and that's why he has zero respect for people. Number six, Jake and Logan Paul. It just seems like everything Jake and Logan Paul do lately is highly controversial and it makes you wonder why the brothers even rose to fame in the beginning and how they were even able to stay on top despite all the negative things they seem to do. Sure, both brothers are extremely good looking, but do good looks just give you a free pass in the industry to get away with dumb behavior? Both brothers rose to fame after they started out on Vine by sharing prank videos that amassed millions of views. After the video sharing app shut down in 2016, they would take their talents to YouTube and Instagram and they would continue to gain millions of fans. And since their rise to fame, multiple controversies and legal issues have followed them. Despite their controversial lifestyle, the brothers have somehow managed to grow their fame through acting and boxing, making them more than just internet sensations. The Paul brothers' seemingly endless controversies over the years have been polarizing to watch. With Jake facing multiple lawsuits, essay allegations, and have been accused of terrorizing his neighbors, he even lost his gig on the Disney Channel show, Bizarre Bark. Yet it seems like even with scandals and allegations, the brothers have been able to continue on because their fans still remain unfazed by their actions, which is pretty disturbing. Number five, Addison Rae. So something's really been bothering me since the release of TikToker Addison Rae's He's All That Movie. Like, if entering into 2023, we could just not cast TikTok stars in shows and movies, it would be great because it's clear fame doesn't correlate with talent. It seems like TikTokers who become famous often branch out exploring other talents such as those in the music or movie industry. And every time I have to listen to a song or watch the movie, I have to think. Who thought this was a good idea? Now mind you, some have actually been able to cross the platform and make it into other industries such as Bella Porsche, but it seems like for some, they think they can just hide behind their smiles to distract us away from their poor acting. Cough, cough, Addison, right? Addison's acting, and he's all that was notorious at its best, as the acting was pretty much comparable to the kids on the Disney Channel. If the movie actually starred a trained actress, it probably could have lived up to its hit 1999, Desser, She's All That. Since influencers are already in the position of power and money, opportunities are often just handed to them. And many don't have to work to achieve their goals, which bothers me the most. Those in the acting industry have paid thousands of dollars to attend classes to make names for themselves. That, and that's why influencers on TikTok shouldn't have the ability to become actors instantly without any preparation just because they're famous figures. Number four, Elon Musk. The overwhelming news flow that comes along with Elon Musk and his company just makes all of our heads hurt. And it's actually, to be honest, Pretty weird to watch a bunch of famous people scream at each other over Twitter constantly. While they are always trying to do some righteous combat online, I honestly just wanna take out my phone and look at pictures of my cat while it all unfolds. Now, there are essentially two distinct narratives when it comes to Elon, and they are in their simplest terms. One, Elon is a hero, and two, Elon is a villain. But if I had a third option, Honestly, it would be who cares and why are we even talking about this guy as he's just a normal guy with an unusual amount of money. 
To support any of his moves, you practically choose to emphasize certain facts and de empathize others. And you literally accuse everyone that writes about Musk in a big picture way of cherry picking. While his narrative has definitely been divided between genius and villain, it becomes so large that trying to just get back up to speed on all of his drama just makes me not want to come into work and read about it. Like, I get it. The dude is filthy rich and he's highly controversial as he tries to make the world a dangerous place while implementing free speech. But do we have to make all rich people famous? Because Elon is just someone I would like to forget about at this point. Number 3 The Royal Family While the Queen was pretty popular, there have been a series of public relation disasters that have tarnished the rest of the Royal Family. And while Charles has taken over the throne, it makes us wonder if the UK will soon abolish the monarchy. Now, the institution itself continues to enjoy broad support and with the UK under unprecedented strain from the Scottish separatism proves that it may be hard for any future monarch to be able to provide the same steady influence as Queen Elizabeth did. While many controversies never touch the Queen, it's bound to make things even more difficult for Charles who has been subjected to intense scrutiny. Especially since people still believe that the royal family had something to do with the passing of Princess Diana. The whole family is just a giant symbol of what's wrong with the world and it makes me question why do we even still have a monarchy at this point? Like what are they truly doing that the world leaders aren't currently doing? Like let's be real here, Charles is going to have to find someone to help him fill in Elizabeth's shoes as it's definitely going to take two men to do her job. As we're not just questioning the monarchy at this point, but the country that produced it. Like we're honestly not in the medieval times anymore and we need to step away from the whole one family rules the world type of thing. Number 2 James Charles There's something about James Charles still being famous after trying to talk to younger boys that just doesn't sit right with me. Or can we also bring up the fact that he hangs out with younger kids that became famous on TikTok? Something about that just gives me the ick. At this point, it only seems like he's famous because he's influenced by fame, power, and a fat bank account. But his actions just prove that he's a bad role model and there's something that's just really sus about him. Even while he has become one of the most hated influencers around the controversial situations he's found himself in, it seems like fans still believe he wasn't completely in the wrong for any of them. A majority of people just didn't care to follow the drama surrounding the beauty community because they found it just cringy. Like he's clearly a terrible person, there's no denying that, but at this point, He's just famous for being famous and, it, and it's kind of really hard to see why he's still on the top when he's not even talented nor charismatic. Number 1. Dr. Phil Okay, I honestly hate cancel culture but if there's one person that needs to be cancelled, it's Dr. Phil. How this man still has a show is beyond me. Dr. Phil has pretty much become a controversial figure since he became one of the highest paid celebrities in Hollywood. With him having some flamboyant cases of people with problems, he has somehow managed to build an audience who will boo and make fun of his guest rather than call him out on his outrageous behavior. While he claims to give some free treatment, there have been claims of abuse at a ranch type facility treatment that he sends minors to. A young woman claims that she was not even allowed to call home and even bad baby has confirmed that she witnessed some heartbreaking things go down on the ranch and called Dr. Phil out on it. What's even more concerning is that Dr. Phil doesn't even have a license to practice any of this in any state although he does have the proper education, credentials. He has often stated that he doesn't like one on one therapy but He'll do it just to humiliate you in front of an audience? There's something about messing with someone's mental health publicly, let alone behind closed doors that bothers me and it's kind of outrageous that people think it's okay when he does it. Well that's it for this video my little peaches, until the next one remember to stay juicy.